Hey there YouTube, what's up? It is Matt Carl being the VZ3 and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own recycled LED battery powered lantern like this one here. Uh, so this idea came to me during a hurricane. Uh, uh, my power was out and I thought it would be really nice to have a, a portable light uh, that's really easy to make with things around the house. So uh, let's get started. Alright, so you only need a couple things for this project, a, uh, a half gallon container like this one here, uh, some LED lights, uh, I used some extra Christmas lights that I just had laying around the house, uh, a 9 volt battery, and it's also helpful to have a little connector uh, that goes uh, goes along with it, but it's not necessary, and some printer paper and tape. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is rinse out the container and let it dry for a while. Uh, I also suggest taking off the labels uh, to uh, let the light shine through a little bit better. Okay, so now that you have the labels off the half gallon container, uh, I'm going to take the LEDs and you can see I've just stripped them uh, on both ends just to make it a little bit easier to uh, connect them to each other. Alright, so this is the basic schematic that we're going to be making. Uh, all it is is that there's just two sets of these three LED lights and uh, they're going to be wired in parallel. And then they're just connected to the 9 volt battery and I'm going to add a, uh, a little switch in that I got from Radio Shack. Uh, it's not necessary, it just makes it a little bit easier to turn on and off. Um, so, the way we're going to wire this together is we're going to take our printer paper and uh, take the LEDs and we're just going to lay it out, uh, lay it out like this, and then just tape each of the LEDs down. So. Alright, so take your second row of LEDs and just uh, do the same thing right next to it. Alright, so now we're going to test our connections. Um, since LEDs are diodes, current can only run through it uh, one way. Uh, so we're going to uh, twist both of these together and then uh, connect it up to the battery and see if they're both, um, both running in the same direction. And so if we connect up our battery really quick, we can see, we can see that only that one set of LEDs uh, is lighting up. So what that means is that we will going to have to I'm going to show you guys again. Okay, so what that means is we're going to have to um, just quickly switch uh, this end and flip it over. So we're going to take this off and just uh, flip the LEDs over so that this end is over here and then this end is over there. Uh, Alright, so now that we flip this, we're, we'll uh, retest the connections um, and by twisting these two together like so and then reconnecting the battery all right and as you can see uh, all six are lighting up which is what we want so uh, what I'm going to do now is take this extra length of wire and connect it over to this side so that all of the connections are going to be over here Okay, so after I do that, I'm going to install the switch. Uh, how I'm going to do that is just take this extra bit of wire, uh, wrap it around here onto this terminal, and then um, and then take it and wrap it around one of the uh, terminals on the switch. You can solder if you'd like, uh, but you know, in my situation where you have no power, uh, it's not, soldering isn't really an option. Uh, but it does. Uh, make a uh, more solid connection and will make it last a little bit longer. So uh, once it's connected to one of the sides, we're going to test out our uh, test our circuit again. Uh, so we're going to connect uh, one one wire to this side and then the other to the extended version of over here, over here, and you can see they all six light up once again. So a ba really basic circuit and you can see we can control it with the push of a button. So now it's time to uh, actually install it into the uh, half gallon container. So we're going to start by uh, taking, uh, taking our paper and just trimming it down. Okay, you can now fold, fold everything over and then tape it shut. So now I'm going to take the cap and cut out a little hole uh, for the button to, uh, to come through. <clears throat> All 
All right, we're almost done. The last thing we're gonna do is just take some uh, hot glue and uh, glue the top of the battery, battery pack uh, straight to the bottom of the connector so that sits a little bit nicer inside the bottle. Now that everything's all finished, we're just going to take, uh, take all the lights and uh, put it into the bottle like so. Make sure you don't crush anything. And there you go, a quick, easy, recycled, battery-powered LED lantern. If you guys uh, like this video, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, thumbs up in this video. And uh, I'm Matt Carl, being a Z3, and I'll see you next time.